going to be using Primo Clay, which is my favorite brand, and um, this one is the opal one, which is fun to use. You have your baby wipes because everything gets dust, dusty. So use it to wipe your hands and wipe your tools. Get all the dust off of there. Make sure because dust loves clay. And I'm also this is a ceramic tile that I like to use and um, just from the Home Depot or whatever. And I'm gonna work on this workspace here. Dust likes white clay, so you can either use a baby wipe to wipe it off here. Or you can use the Q-tip with rubbing alcohol before you bake it, not after. And this will help take the clay, uh, the dust off really easily, cleans it and makes it smooth. Takes the fingerprints off as well, just like that. So it's nice and white, especially for white clay. Tools that I like to use, um, you can use something as simple as a toothpick, which you know you can get for super cheap. There's some artists that actually do clay paints with just a toothpick and it's amazing. I also like to use dotting tools, which uh, is actually for nail art, but I really like to use this to make little eyes and textures. Another thing I like to use is a silicone tool and it comes, you can get it in a little set. It's a little rubber tip. And so it's really good for smoothing out texture and blending pieces together. So using all of these beginner tips that I've shown you, we're gonna make a cute little simple starfish. So I just have some green clay here and we're gonna just make, um, we're just gonna pinch all tips, five little tips. So I'm pretty happy with that shape right there. I'm gonna use a toothpick. We can pull the little edges, the little corners in just a little bit so it has a little bit more of a defined star shape. And I'm actually gonna just start making a little bit textures like the starfish texture. Um, I will also use the dotting tools. And if you want to use the silicone tool, that's very flexible just to kind of soften the edges and pull it in just a little bit without having too harsh edges there. And now if there's some fingerprints on there that you don't want to have, then you can then use, let's get a new Q-tip here, Q-tip and the rubbing alcohol. Just a little bit, just to get rid of the fingertips, fingerprints, sorry, not the fingertips. I'm just going to go very lightly. You don't want to get rid of all the texture, but just so that it's clean of dust and textures that you don't want there. Okay. You can also just use the baby wipe if it's a bigger work area, and you can also just use that to also clean off dust. So, hope you guys enjoy that quick little beginner tips for polymer clay.